Yep, testing, 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 one, two, three. the gym that teaches people how to move instead of just exercise because we believe that health is about performance not just body image. What's up everyone? Welcome to Thursday's workout for peak week. We're going to be hammering that upper body today. My legs are absolutely wrecked. I don't know how you're feeling but I am really looking forward to these hip flexor stretches today because down here is just cooked. I'm absolutely fried. All right, ah, making me feel old today. I'm really looking forward to deload week. Okay, here we go, team. Let's get into this. Oh, those quads, man. Woo. Okay, here we go. Morning, everybody. Richard here again. How is everyone feeling today? How's everybody's legs? I've had a few people say that their legs are still sore from Tuesday. Hopefully you guys had a good rest last night, got some good hours of sleep and are ready to go today. Also, don't forget to like the video. If you're enjoying this content, subscribe, help us get to 30K subs. We're very close now. And do your friends a favor and share the workouts with them. <sighs> also, head over to our Facebook group page, the UMS right. Movement Mastermind, and you can get free coaching from Rad, myself, and any other of the other Unity Gym team members. And good morning to Lisa. Good morning to Mike. Good morning, Nick. Martin, how you going, mate? Mark, Katie, Lockie, what's up, buddy? Dave, Kumaran, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Matt. Normala, good morning. And everybody else tuning in this morning. routine on the back of the wrist hey all the unity gym members make sure you guys tune in today on the unity gym tribe facebook page at 8 30. yanni and i are going to be talking about um how we're coming back because you know there's these still these ridiculous government restrictions on what we can do and it's fine we've got it covered we've got you guys covered so that we can do things but we have to let you guys know how that's going to happen so you just need to tune in and also i really hope that you're all planning on coming here on saturday the 13th to train with me catch up again get ready and have our first day back we're going to do a deadlift day so that uh, you guys can lift some weights <laughs> It'll be the end of deload week, so you should be feeling pretty good and pretty ready to lift some weight. And it's going to be the day just after deadlift day anyway, so it'll still be six days before you deadlift again. Okay? So that'll be uh, 9 a.m. Saturday the 13th 
of March. Oh man, everything gets pretty sore towards the end of peak week. This is that point that I always talk about, that overreaching state where you start to feel like you're almost getting weaker. And I'm definitely there. Everything is sore, man. Everything. Upper body, legs. directions. We've got the black plastic off our windows now for the first time in 11 weeks. So I can see outside. <laughs> Very different experience doing this. Being able to see the world outside and the world outside being able to see me. <laughs> Not that there's anyone out there. <laughs> Still a ghost town. <laughs> Change direction. Yeah, for those of you unaware, Uni Gyms had black plastic covering the windows for the past two months Shoulder screws. so me rad and yanni have all been coming to work while it's dark and then leaving when it's dark so we've had like no sunlight from monday to friday and finally yesterday we've taken it down getting ready for you guys to come back we look pretty pasty right now swing that arm around a bit All right, cool. Here we go, people. So what do we got? We got one and a quarter push-ups, hip flexor stretch on the box or on the couch or a seat, whatever you've got. Single arm towel pull over here, and then uh, the hip extension holds. Okay. So if you haven't done so already, please hit the like button. Send me some love. Tell me that you like what I'm doing here for you guys. And uh, share this with your friends as well, if you haven't done so already. Who have we got? We've got 36 people on the, on the call. Yeah, Richard Lewis is saying, yay. Uh, Margo, super sore legs. Man, brutal, aren't they? Mine are, my legs are wrecked today. Absolutely wrecked. Good morning, Adrian. All right, team. Let's do this. Peak week for horizontal push pull. Okay, one and a quarter push ups. Make them count. Feel the tension in your uh, chest at all times. Shoulders depressed. To it to start with. Hey okay, now, tuck the hips under, push your bum back towards the heel. Okay, change. So 
I saw today. Doms is a horrible thing, isn't it? When you get bad doms, they hit forward. Up straight, push your bum back towards your heel. Adrian, thanks for joining. Four, five, good morning, Adam. Six, and good morning, Nicholas. Seven, eight. I can't remember if I did eight or nine. Did nine. Right. If I didn't say it before, good morning, Margot and Andy. Okay, here we go. Extension lifts. Front foot forward. Hips into it, lean into it, feel the stretch first, and lift that leg off the ground. down oh man I feel like such a bitch today oh everything is sore morning Adam morning Nicholas May how are you bro morning Andy morning Martin who's coming you need gym members who's coming on Saturday the 13th let me know come on morning Lockie Morning Dave, Clark, morning Kumara, morning Maddie, morning Namala, morning Niall, morning Daljit, Ruth, Simon, morning Lee Clements and Chris Grant. 40 people on the stream. I can't see how many likes we've got on the phone. I hope we've got 40 likes. Otherwise, I'm going to cry when I finish this workout. Martin is in. Well done. Well, okay, here we guys, go. he's going to cry. All right, let's do it. You better hit Round the like two. button. Into it, push the bum back, arms up. Each time we move the arms into a new position, it actually puts more of a stretch down the side that we're stretching. So each one of these positions is a 
progression that you do during the workout. Lean into it to start. Okay. Hips forward, lean into it. Arms up. Come forward, drive that knee forward, push the back leg, push the heel away from you. Hips down, hips forward, front knee forward, back leg pushing the heel back. down, front knee forward, making sure the little toe and the big toe are on the ground on the back leg. Lloyd, keen for Saturday. Awesome. Nick Clark coming on Saturday. Awesome. Who else, guys? Come on. Unity Gym members. Who else is coming? We've got 42 on the live. Simon Morgan. Awesome. You're coming. Good work. Adam. You coming, bro? Adam Saruga, 13th. Adrian, can you make it? Saturday the 13th. In nine days. 9 a.m. Okay, 10 seconds. We'll be there, Adam. Awesome. Good work. We're going to get the crew back together. We're getting the band back together. And here we go. One. Lisa, cl time clearly stopped when the gym closed down okay. for Rad. Change. 
and lean into it. Okay, hips forward, push back, arms up, and behind the head. People just tuning in now, tune into the Unity Gym Facebook Tribe group page, and oh. we will be going through some announcements to do with okay. um, the opening of the gym Hips on the 15th. Forward, lean into it, push back with the back leg, thumbs up. That'll be happening at 8.30, so tune in. I think Yanni might be joining us as well. Oh. Okay, change. Hips forward, lean into it, push back. Gym members, throw your hat in the ring. Let me know who's coming. Nicholas May, awesome. Are you, you're Adam's friend, aren't you, Nicholas? Is that right? You guys are, Adam got you onto this. Lisa Garrett, uh, Rad, it's June, not much as you announced. Oh, fuck me. Yep. <laughs> I have forgotten the last couple of months, Lisa. <laughs> are you coming, Lisa? Are you going to come on Saturday, the 13th? Woo! God. Oh, 20 seconds left. Man, this is, this is hard today. This is hard. Everything's, everything's feeling it. Yeah, that's the one. Awesome, Nick. Can't wait to meet you, bro. All right, here we go. Woo. Shoulders down. These are the ones where we really get into the hip flexors now. We're going to do that by coming up, hips forward, push back, arms up, hands behind your head, twist away from the side you're stretching, and then rotate and lean back. Change sides. Lean 
going into it. Let's start with. Okay. Hips forward, push the bum back, arms up, arms behind your head, twist away and then lean away from it as well. lean into it, arms up, push that leg back. So is in, Mike Skolnick is in, awesome. Matt, I'll be doing my own best to get there for the third end. Yeah, bro, whatever you can do. Yeah, mine, it's, um, I mean, we're not doing a class, so I'm just coming in to train and I'm just inviting everybody to come back because I haven't seen you guys for so long. So unfortunately, yes, nine will be the only time, but we'll be training for, be here for at least two or three hours. Um, you know, we're going to make a day of it. When I train on Saturdays, I train for about three hours normally. So we'll do a big long training session, a catch up, a little talk about how things are going to work, and then we'll all go for lunch afterwards. Make a day of it. Okay, last round. Woo! Here we go. Definitely everything I had in the tank. Okay. Lean into it. We're doing the same stretch again. Okay, hips forward, push the bum back, arms up behind the head, rotate and twist. Whoops, away from the stretch, not towards it. Change. Ah. 
Okay, hips forward, lean into it. Okay, push the hips forward, push the bum back, arms up, behind the head, rotate and twist away from the stretch. Keep pulling your elbows back. All right, Woo. here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. back, arms up, come on, come on sir. All right, woo, well done. Oh, that was really hard. Now we've got the circuit. Oh, Ferris is saying hi from Toronto doing Tuesday's workout, awesome. Good luck, man. <laughs> We're all complaining about how bloody hard that was. All right, no worries, Lisa. Get into it later. Just make sure you warm up properly before you do the cardio and mobility, you have to warm up again, okay? Ferris, good luck. Do your best, keep up with us, work hard. We all flogged ourselves in that Tuesday workout, didn't we, tribe? Oh my God. Okay, let's get this shit out of the way. Get ready for our oblique crunches. Can't remember the exact circuit. I'm pretty sure it's the hollow body rock or hold with oblique crunches. Yeah, I remember. Shadow boxing, hollow body rock, step back lunge with jump, and then oblique crunches. I'm pretty sure. Let's have a look. Yeah, you're gonna be dying for us. You wait. Yeah, oh, shadow boxing, hollow body rock, step back lunge with jump, and then a blue crunch is here. All right. All right, here we go, team. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> here we go, party people. Fire up. 
just got this and one more day to do before it's deload week. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Remember, just because it's peak week doesn't mean you don't listen to your body. So you do the best you can do, but sometimes that means just getting through the whole week without stopping. Because just by adding volume, you know, when you've added volume after volume after volume for three weeks, that's enough for you to really go through an adaptation. When I always say, do your best effort now, that can be what that means. A lot of people misunderstand that for, you know, this go hard or go home mentality. It's not the case, not at all. I'm not even coming close to doing my best effort today, but I'm getting through it. So for right now, where I'm at, this is my best effort. My best effort is just to get through it. already go go. Three, two, one. Okay, round one done. Three, two, one. Shoulders relaxed. Keep your punches light.
Five seconds. Three, two, one. Getting there. There we go. Three, two, one. One round left. Woo. Okay, let's do it, people. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one. Two more. Let's do it, people. Ten reps on each leg. Come on. 
Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change. One, two, three, four. Oh my god, I'm cooked. guys that's what it's all about guys you gotta learn that balance Another where down, one to go you know how to push yourself without hurting yourself but get that last drop out that last rep but doing it safely so you don't hurt yourself and often <laughs> it's a lot less than what you think you can do Fuck me, I'm cooked. Oh. Okay, let's get ready for mobility. How's everyone doing? That was a grind, Nick. Far out, man. Hey, Miguel, your workout for tomorrow, awesome. Who else found that tough? Come on, let me know in the comments. Oh my God. Oh, all right. That was good, Nick Clark saying. I oh, know he's saying it was a grind. I'm just going blind, reading the same comment twice. <laughs> all right, let's get into it. If no one else is commenting, that's a good thing because hopefully it means that you're as fucked as I am. Push up. Lean into it. Drag yourself forward, but push up. So you get into those hip flexes. Adrian Sneary saying really struggled with the core today. Me too, man. Fuck. 
Those, uh, that last set of oblique crunches, I, I couldn't do the whole thing. I had to stop halfway through and then keep going. Jeez, we've uh, leveled up our core training in this lockdown phase, haven't we, people? You guys are happy that's over with. Oh, all right, let's just do a little gentle bit of a glute stretch. Oh man, I am sufficiently fried today. This has been a very challenging mesocycle, this one. Just gotta get through tomorrow. Just gotta get through tomorrow. I wonder how shocked you guys are gonna be coming back to doing six week mesocycles again. I hope you've learned more about the way that you push yourself in your training, but the way you do it smart, you know? You've all seen how I train now for 11 weeks. You've joined in with me, you've watched me, seen the results I've gotten, hope you've learned some good stuff. It's, it, there's an element of pushing yourself and going hard, but there's also an element of really pacing yourself and being smart and thinking about the macro, thinking about not just how, how hard can I go in this one workout, but how does this one workout fit into my whole training program? How does it fit into the mesocycle? Where am I at in my mesocycle? What am I doing next week? For me today, I just, I did my best and I had a great workout and I feel cooked, but I couldn't, I'm, I'm in such a state of overreaching now that I, I am weaker than I was last week. I, I, there's no way I could do as much right now. Um, so, that's the perfect time to deload because when I deload and I eat good food, my body's just gonna really go bang and, and uh, grow, you know? Build some muscle, build some strength, build some flexibility. But you really have to rest and recover for that to happen and eat good food. Let's do a pancake first. Tense the quads, tense the glutes. Pull yourself down towards the ground and relax, pull the toes up. Oh, all right. I think that's far enough today. much at all today. I can just feel it so bad in my legs. Whew. I don't feel like I could go to sleep now. Oh. How are you all feeling? Is it just me and Adrian? Or did everybody find that hard? Lots of protein today, every three hours. Either a protein supplement or a meal that has, you know, about 25 to 35 grams of protein in it, depending on what your body weight is. 
it for today guys Woo, well done oh man I'm really cooked after that one all right so unity gym members make sure you log into the unity gym tribe Facebook page big announcements in 33 minutes about the reopening of unity gym the grand reopening don't miss out I'll see you soon and I'll see the rest of you tomorrow at 7 a.m. for Friday's workout Thanks again, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We will see you tomorrow. Stay tuned for the Unity Gym Tribe Facebook group uh, announcements. See you tomorrow. Health is about performance, not just body image. You better be willing to accept what you're going to have to do to get there. We'll start focusing on movement goals, strength goals, flexibility goals. When you nail that skill, it's there forever. The body image goal doesn't get you that It's far. the consistency and frequency that's going to get you there. It's not the intensity. There's no shortcuts to mastery and movement. Destination doesn't change overnight, but your direction will. It's the gym is not the place to beat up the body that you hate. It's the place to build the body that you love. We are the gym that teaches people how to move instead of just exercise because we believe that health is about performance, not just body image.